Hello, my name is Bjorn Nyland, also known as Tesla Bjorn, and in this video I will show you how to use the X-Bank G3. So you might be one of those lucky guys who has received the G3 at your home, or maybe you just want to know how this car works. So uh, the first thing I will show you is the key fob. The bottom key here is to unlock the car. Just press it once and it unlocks. And then the top key is to lock the car. Press it once and it unlocks. And then the third key here is to open the lift gate. You have to double click on it. And then the G3 has motorized lift gate as standard. And if you don't want the rear lift gate to go that high up, then you can simply just adjust it down to this desired level, let's say here. And then you hold on this button for three seconds until you hear the confirmation beep. And now it has saved the level. So then we can test it by closing it and then open it again. And it should open, raise it to the same level you set it to. Perfect. And now the car is closed and locked and I can just keep the key fob in my pocket and use the keyless go feature instead. To unlock the car, just put your hand on the door handle. And to lock it again, just press this one gently. And when you open the door, the car will automatically power on. So there is no start button here. And to adjust the seat, you go forward like this, backwards. You can adjust the seat down or up. And then you can tilt forward and tilt backwards. And this one is the smart trim, so it doesn't have the lumbar support. Then you have to get the premium trim. And to change gear, do the following. Hold the brakes, pull it down to go to drive, pull it up, go to reverse, and then push this button to get park. And the park brake automatically engages when you put the car in park. And the same thing when you use automatic parking. Once it's finished, it will also put the car in park and put the car park brake on. And if you try to drive without buckle up, you will notice that the car won't drive because the parkway isn't engaged. And then you can manually override it by pushing the lever. And then you can drive without buckling up, but this is usually only for driving around the parking lot. But normally, for normal operations, when you enter the car, you will usually buckle up first and then when you put the car in drive it will automatically disengage the park brake and you can start driving. And on the left side of the steering wheel you have two stalks. The top one here is used for light, turn signal, high beam and also for uh, spraying, windshield and you have interval here, wipers. And on the steering wheel we have some buttons. The left scroll wheel here is always used for adjusting sound. Or you can just mute it by pressing it. And then if you long press it, you can choose what information you want to have displayed on the left side of the instrument cluster. And then on the right side here we also have another scroll wheel. Right now we are set it to adjust brightness of the instrument cluster. And then we can change what we want to adjust by pressing this button here. And then we choose, for example, temperature. And now we will change temperature. And then if we hold down this scroll wheel, we have to wait for the temperature to disappear first. Now if you hold down this scroll wheel, we can also choose what information you want to show on this side. For example, a trip information. The screen and the menu is quite intuitive. Here we have navigation. Next time here we have music via Bluetooth from the phone. And then the third one here is radio stuff. And here we have phone stuff. And then this one will activate the camera and you can actually use the camera while you are driving. You can choose which angle you want to see. And the nice feature is that you can take a photo here. And you can do the same thing if you switch to video, then you can actually record a video in different angles while you're driving. You can even switch it to 3D mode. And then if you stop it, you can see that uh, the picture and the video appeared here in the gallery. And then if you click on the cogwheel here, 
you get some settings for Bluetooth. You can pair the phone. And then here we can change the name of the car. It will appear several places. And then next tab here, you have uh, Wi-Fi support. You can connect the car to your wireless uh, network. And then here we have sound settings. And for the display, you can change how bright or dark the, car, uh, the, the display will be. And also nice features, you can increase the text size if you think it's too hard to read it. And then down here you have screen cleaning mode. So when you enter this mode, uh, you, you can clean it without touching buttons. And then the only button is this one, you have to hold down for three seconds to exit it. And then in this tab, you can read about uh, privacy uh, information uh, regards to the car. And then down here we have a button for car settings. So the most common car settings are in the first tab here for changing drive mode, for example, and do some of these uh, light settings. But okay, let's switch back to standard. And all of this is really self-explanatory because they use standard symbols for everything. So it's really easy to understand what all this stuff does. And then you can also change seat. You can adjust the seat here and you can also change which, which memory you have saved it on. The same you can do in the in the just by clicking on the actual uh, seat also, and then here we have also again different driving mode, and also you can change recuperation levels. So in winter, I recommend that you switch it to low because you want to use the brakes a little bit. If you don't use the brakes, you might get some uh, rust problems on the brake pads and disc, and then. Here we have more vehicle settings for uh, wipers and some, some other things here. And then here we have the X-Pilot settings. So this is the, the, the feature where, which will allow the car to drive almost by itself on the highway. You can change some of the settings. And then here, the last one here is about the tire pressure where you can reset TPMS. And also you have some trip information here and you can also reset some of them. And on top of the screen here, we have a very nice feature. This is a quick menu. With just one touch, you can quickly access drive mode, open the lift gate, adjust some seats, adjust the screen, and you can try this. See, vent the windows, very nice feature. Close it, and then you can add or remove some of these depending on your needs. So you see, we can add maybe auto hole. There's, there's also some other features here, but I think we can, yeah, let's see. Uh, then we, it, you have to scroll, so I actually prefer to just maybe not have too many of them so you don't have to scroll. And now you can also, for example, fold the mirrors. And here's the navigation. So it's very easy to use. You can zoom by pinching in and you can scroll, swipe like this, just like you can in a mobile phone. And then we have lots of options here. If we go here, you can choose how you want the car to display everything. For example, now we have north up. And if you zoom in here, for example, there should be a fast charger here. You see, we see Circle K, McDonald's. So if you click on this one, you see that, oh, we have some 50 kilowatt fast charger and some other ones. And this one is not totally updated because it gets the data from here up. But at least it's easy for you to navigate to a fast charger nearby. And now you can zoom out here. You can just zoom out like this. And you see that uh, it's 2.6 kilometers away. We will arrive at 15.57. You click once, you see how many minutes it will take. It takes slightly longer now because we have traffic. And you also see all the traffic. You see time, it's almost four in the afternoon. So we see live traffic. And if you zoom in, you can actually see also which direction it is red. So this is very useful to see live traffic very detailed like this in the big screen. And you can also add waypoints, for example, uh, let's search for something. I search for, yeah, let's say airport Flesland. And also the Hair app also knows about uh, charging stations at Flesland. And then you can add that one to your trip. And now it will set up a multi-point trip. And then you can edit it. You see it added that one. And then you can edit it by going here and then edit destination. And you can see all the waypoints here. And if you want, you can, for example, say that, well, we want to go to Circle K first and then go to the airport like this and then it will recalculate it or you can also just remove waypoints very simple everything is just super intuitive how it works here and now it reroutes and recalculates everything and then also if you go on, on the option here you can also choose what to show on the map see we chose to see ev chargers but we can choose other options there 
and also you can choose to switch on or off traffic um, and in the EV preferences, you can also choose what the charging networks you want to show. Now, this is a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit messy because it, the information is, is gathered from here. But at least you can see that we have Circle K here and Fortum and Grand Contact should be somewhere. Here is Grand Contact. So we have you know, the, the important networks in Norway also. And also you can choose what kind of charge plugs you want. We have type two and a charger mode at least. And also you can choose what kind of speed you're looking for, uh, for charging. So very useful. So this, this navigation app is really big and very useful to do lots of stuff. This car has two charge ports. The one to the right is for home charging, AC charging, and it's type two. And on the left side, we have charge port for fast charging. G3 is equipped with Chanomo plug. Another tip for you is that when you're about to fast charge, then it's not always easy to see how much space you have in front of you. So then you can activate the camera and then switch to the front camera. And then it's way easier to see and maneuver the car close to the charger without crashing into anything. To activate the X-Pilot, just pull the stop towards you twice. And then you can increase the speed by tapping it upwards. You increase by 5 km per hour each tap. And then tap down to decrease the speed. And then if you press and hold, you will increase by 1 km per hour. And if you want to change lane, turn the signal and then change lane and then it will reactivate automatically. To go back, same thing there. And then X-Pilot reactivates. And then to cancel X-Pilot, you can either brake or pull the stock away from you once. During active driving, the seat belt might tension a little bit. Especially if we go on a sharp curves like now, then it will make sure that you are securely fastened to the seat. And the same when you're on the highway, if you get a little bit too close to the edge, then the car will pull the seat belt. And the same on the other side here. And this feature can be disabled if you don't like it. We are now at IKEA and I will show you how the auto parking works. On the bottom of the screen, there is a button to activate it. Once you press it, it will start searching for available spots. So while in the search, search mode, it will find spots, just keep driving and... Tap the screen to start. Now we just stop and then we choose one of them, for example number two here, and then press start. And then we just release the brake. Parking start. Check surroundings for safety. And the car will back up, go forward, uh, do everything, steer, everything automatically. And if, if other cars or pedestrian comes in the way, it will brake and wait until it's clear. And then it will complete the parking. So this is super easy parking and completed. super safe. And now I will show you how to install the app for the X-Bank. So just go on the App Store and then you search for Xpeng and you should see the app. Just install it. Now done, open it. And you have to input your phone number here. And then it will send you a verification code on SMS. And now you're in. So beforehand you have to uh, give this information to uh, Xpeng and they will add your uh, car to the account and then you will be able to access it and right now the app is a little bit basic but uh, the xbank is working on porting all the features over to the european version of the app so you will get more and more features in here so quite big uh, how, how much feature this app actually will get eventually and the car also has voice control you can activate it with a button on the steering wheel here or just say hey xbank hi there set temperature to 25 degrees please Temperature is set to 25 degrees. Hey, X-Bang. Hi there. Set fan speed to 1, please. Fan speed is 1. Hey, X-Bang. 
Hi. Open the windows, please. Hi, X Bank. Hello. Close the windows, please. No problem. So more and more features will be added in the future. And you know, this is a smart car. So the more you use the voice control, the better it will learn and understand what you mean. And the same goes for uh, the X-Pilot system, is that the more you drive it, the more the car will learn the roads, how it goes, how it's supposed to drive. So that's good. So I walked through some of the most important features with this car. And as you see, the menu and screen is very intuitive to use. And you will notice that it's easy to learn how to use an x -Bang. So all I can say now is congratulations with your new x G3. And uh, I hope you'll be happy with it and that you tell your friends and family about this wonderful G3. So thank you for watching and talk to you later.